How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you how to listen to the radio from your Kindle Fire, okay? And what we're going to do is download a cool app called TuneIn. What you're going to do is go to the App Store and go to Store. And then from there you want to type in Tune, T-U-N-E, in and hit Search. And then this app will come up right here. Tune in radio and then tune in pro. Now, as we go over the app, I'll go over the differences between the pro and the free version, okay? I have the free version because I just, the free one does enough for me, but you can get the pro version if you feel like you want the bells and whistles, okay? So let's go ahead and launch the app here. And I was just listening to uh, KGLH radio. So. The cool thing is, let's say if we go to the main screen of the app, which is looks like this. Uh, this is Browse, and what it's going to do is, it'll sh recommend some stations, it'll show you some stations in the area. Now here's the thing, uh, you do have to be connected to Wi-Fi when you're using this app. Okay, so there's n not really an option to like store stuff offline. Uh, you do have to be connected with Wi-Fi, but if you're in Wi-Fi, it will let you listen to the radio. And let me show you an example. Um, what's cool is at the bottom here, whatever the last station you listen to, it'll keep it there so you can just hit play and just pick up where you left off type of thing. Or it'll, it'll take you right to where the station is. So you can hear the radio stations on the commercial right now. So if I stop it, when I start it, it's not going to pick up where I left off. It's going to pick up where the stream is going from. So that's one thing. It's not like pausing the radio. It will pick up wherever the station is left off. Now, I, I compared it with my car radio and basically the delay time is anywhere from 30 seconds to like two minutes. It kind of depends on your internet and a couple different things, but it's not too long of a delay. And so watch this if I hit play right now. Opens it up, it buffers. And now it's on different commercials, see that? So it's not like pausing the radio, but you can literally sit there and listen to you know your favorite radio station so for example uh, I have some favorites that I've already preset right here so I have power 106 I have hot 97 and I have KJLH 102.3 now what you can do is you can go to search there's a little magnifying glass in the corner just so you can see a little bit better it's right here if you tap on the magnifying glass you can actually type in maybe a certain station you're looking for like um, I think I was trying to find uh, 94.7, the wave, you know, jazz station. So we type in the station and it'll start looking for it. Or you can just hit search and we can kind of go down the list here. Let's see. Let's see, oldies, 94.7. We're looking for the wave though. So as you can see, there's a lot of different stations with the same number because. It just kind of depends on the area and where you're broadcasting from. So that's why you really got to look through and make sure it's like the one you're looking for. Let me put in 94.7, the wave. And there it is, actually. So sometimes, you know, it may come up under just the wave, which is the name of the station. And sometimes it will come up under like the numbers too. So we'll tap here. And watch this. Just gonna load for a second here. So there it is. That's the current song playing right now. And usually what it'll show you is the album cover. And uh, sometimes there'll be an option to actually download the song as well. That's kind of cool. I'll go a different station and I'll show you that. But here we go. And then if you want to stop, you just hit stop, which is in the corner right here. If you want to make this a favorite, you're going to come to the upper right corner of this little heart with a plus on it up here. Tap on the heart, it's going to ask you if you want to add it. So click on add the groove. And now it's a favorite. So if I go back, now I'm on the main screen. Let's see. You know what, it didn't add because I went backwards, that's what it was. So let's go back here again, and let me, um, it looks like it's, 
I'm available right now. Every now and then, it's a little weird. Sometimes my station will go unavailable. Uh, I don't know if it's like maybe certain times of the day you can't listen to it. But for the most part, like it's pretty... Everything I've searched, I've been able to listen to. Now, the cool thing is you have your favorite stations and you can say favorite songs too. I made uh, this song a favorite because I was listening to it um, from one of the radio stations and it just came up. So... Uh, let me show you that part because that's a really cool feature too. So let's go to Power 106. Okay, cool. So J. Cole's playing right now. If you look in the upper right corner next to the heart, there's an envelope. And the, this envelope will allow you to share it on Facebook, Twitter, or you can email it to someone, the song. And then you can also tap the A. There's an A. It says A and P3 show it to you it's kind of small but it's this little icon right here and this will actually let you buy the song right from Amazon so that's really cool because you could literally buy it and it will download right onto your uh, Kindle so and it shows you different prices different versions right here and literally it will download it right to the Kindle so you can listen to it later you just pay for it and that's it let's go back here now what I can also do is I can favorite the song so I hit the heart and it shows the station, but it also shows the song. So I'm going to tap the song. So if I go back now to... Uh, we're going to go back. We stop it. Tap on... Yeah, tap, in, tap on tune in. It takes you back to the home screen. And then we're on favorites. And then tap on songs. And now we have the Anthony Hamilton and then we have the J. Cole song. So... Um, and then let me just show you a quick browse of some stations. We hit browse here now. I'm on browse, but I'm hitting the back button because there's a lot of different ways to search for what you want to listen to. So, for example, you can go local radio station. That's what I recommend if you're just trying to listen to the stuff you have in the car. You would tap local radio, and then what it'll do is uh, you can pick your state and you can pick your area. And then I picked Los Angeles, so now it's going to go through, and it's basically giving me an order. The station's, you know, going up the dial. So this is the simplest way to do it. I got 92.3, 93.5, 94.7. You know, this is probably the fastest way to find your stations because it'll, it'll gear it towards the area that you're in. Okay. And then you just tap on their station, and it'll start playing. Let's tap on Kiss FM. Let's see what they're playing right now. Alright. Interesting. Well, today is today is a record that means a lot to me. Okay, it's so right now they are uh, probably uh, syndicating a station from London because this is a uh, I don't know what that was that popped up there, but that was Kiss FM. So anyway, you know, cool app. You got your radio on your Kindle now. Um, since I found this app, I love it. Uh, I have speakers at home, so I'll plug up and just listen to this instead of, you know, watching TV or my music. Sometimes you just want to change and you, you want to listen to something in the house, so um, go ahead and uh, take advantage of this. Even some of the college radio stations are on here, like KXLMU. This is uh, LMU's radio station right here. And um, I have mail. That's what that sound is. And we can just go back. Different cities, different states. You can go just music, just news, just sports, just talk radio. You can do by language. You can find podcasts. I mean, the app is so um, advanced. Just It really allows you to open it up and just have fun with it. So download TuneIn Radio. It's free. The difference between this one and the pro version, the pro version will actually let you download uh, a radio broadcast. Uh, how it works, I do not know because I didn't pay for the pay version, but that's the difference in the pro and the just the regular version. So... Have fun with that. Hope that was helpful. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video. Subscribe to H2 Tech Videos. If you found this helpful, like the video and keep watching. Have a good one.